Hello and welcome back. Man, it's so beautiful out this morning in Tucson. It's perfect temperature. I just went for a walk and it's amazing. So this morning I'm going to, let's see, you know what? Let's, I'm going to shout out to LL Cool Ray, okay? Uh, he and I, we, we, we've been kind of back and forth talking about he wants to, I think it's he, okay? Don't, so I think that person want me to, uh, we are talking about in future, okay? He's thinking about upgrading to dual boiler, the Bravel dual boiler. And then I was thinking about it last few minutes. And you know what? Right now, the dual boiler is about, hold on, I have a print out here. So dual boiler is about, let's see, $14.99. So it's almost $1,500 for dual boiler, okay? That's a lot of money for express machines. But think about that for a second, because $1,500, now you have, I mean, you open up huge opportunity to get great machine. So, and uh, so, so $1,500, you can get, let's see, Rancho Silva Pro just came out. You can get that one for around, let's see, $1,600 for that one, okay? And then we got Rocket Express Machine for around $1,499. And then also you can get an ECM for around, around $14.50. So now you have a lot of options. So if you are watching this, LL, uh, make sure to look at all your options before you buying your next machine. Because with the infuser is good. Okay, they are a really good machine, but that's old technology. Now, I don't want to say old technology, but these are old products. It's been around for a long time. By the way, if you guys are thinking about buying Brista Express, I just saw on Amazon this morning, selling for $5.99 on Amazon. I'm gonna put the link down below as well. Because Bravo Infusion is selling for $5.79, okay? So $20 more, you're gonna get a Brista Express for pretty much about the same price. So I think, I think Bravo wants to get rid of Infusion line item, the line, okay? Because they're old, I think, they're replaced by the, the Duo, Duo Pro, Bravo Duo. So I think they are done making it. So, I mean, definitely if you have around $1,500 range, man, your options are pretty endless. Okay, so that's really good news if you have the money like that. But make sure you get yourself a pretty good uh, grinder as well because if you got the $1,500 machine with like $300 grinder, it's not recommended because the rule of thumb is, according to whole latte love, I think it's Mark said that a while ago. So half of budget told to a grinder. If your machine is two grand, spend about a thousand bucks on the coffee grinder. So ended up being around three thousand dollars there. So anyway, uh, this morning I'm going to show you guys. Uh, not sure. I mean. I know you guys already know how to make coffee, but if you are new to the Brista Express, I'm gonna make coffee using, I'm not gonna do a niche this morning. I'm just gonna use a built-in grind for this. And what else? Pretty much it, okay. I'm not gonna use my fancy distribution tool. I'm just gonna use, I only gonna use one tool. I'm, I'm just gonna use my dosing funnel, that's it. Okay, dosing funnel with just temper and See what kind of shot we're gonna get. By the way, feel free to ask me questions, okay? And uh, go from there. So this morning I'm gonna be using Good Brothers Coffee. Uh, it's, it's called Columbia Supremo. It's quite nice, I really enjoy it uh, lately. And then, what else? So this is a fellow uh, vacuum seal coffee canister. I mean, this is my go-to coffee canister now because I've been using Airscape. It's good. I've been using Mirror as well. And also I've been using Encom at work, but still I always go back to the fella. So let's see here. Uh, I'm going to be using Not Neutral Coffee Mug. This is fantastic. By the way, uh, check out their website. I have a, a coupon code as well. I have a discount code. If you buy from their website, they're going to give you 15% off. So kind of like thank you gift to you guys. Okay. I'm going to make myself Americano this morning. 
I'm just going to heat up my glass. Okay. So I'm, I'm just going to uh, put up, so if you're new to the Brista Express, I know most of you using hopper. Personally, I don't like to use hopper. I like to use one dosing at a time. So these are up to you, okay? All up to you guys. So I usually uh, get scale, dosing out like 17 to 18 gram of beans. So that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna measure out 17.5 gram. Okay. Let's get the angle for you. There I go. 17.5. Someone asked me what grinder setting on my niche uh, at number 12, okay? Number 12, I mean, it works okay yesterday, so. I got, I'm gonna put 17.5. I know this is somewhat tedious, but I mean, it works, okay? Because you know what to change next time, okay? I know my hair, because the great thing about the single dosing, everything is empty in there. By the way, it does have some beans inside or between the crack, but if I put 17.6 gram in it, I get about 17.3 or four, so. Okay, from here. So I usually, Turn on my machine like half an hour before uh, start making coffee. Okay, so I put my dosing funnel in. Just make sure I got all the beans out. Uh, again, the, another thing about this dosing funnel, you can actually tap it, you can distribute. The built-in grinder from Brista Express, that's okay. Because as you can see, you see a lot of uh, clumps in there. Hopefully you guys can see it, but different clumps. If you have time, just make yourself this uh, distribute kind of declumbing tool. So this is a wine cork and paper clip. So I'm just gonna go like this, just make sure it's declumbing. It's gonna avoid the channeling. It's not necessary, but if you are using a bottomless portafilter, it definitely helps. Okay, at this point, I'm just gonna use my temper. Give you a good, nice, even pressure. So now you're gonna have a nicely temp puck here. I'm just gonna wash it one more time. So I'm looking for one to two ratio. So 17 gram in around 34 to 35 gram out. But again, those ratio is not set in stone, okay? It's all depend on your taste. So someone say you must do one to two, one to three, just don't worry about it. Just make sure based on your taste. Okay, so I'm gonna make, you know what, let's do long black. So I'm gonna get my shot glass here, tear it up. I'm looking for one, around 34 to 35 gram, okay? So let me, sh let's do the close up. So with my machine, I, my pressure is pretty high, as you can see. But machine to machine is all different. So I got beautiful crema there. Let's see here. 
pretty good, nice color. Meantime, I'm gonna get my hot water ready. We are going to put Americano together. And it looks really good. So let's find out what that tastes like. So that is my uh, morning go-to drink, okay? That's my one of my favorite drink in the morning. They are really tasty and very smooth. Let's try this here. Cheers. It's gonna be a little hot, so. Wow, it's perfect. So it's really, really tasty. So by the way, so if you don't like the bitter tasting crema, because crema is somewhat different. So I know some people scoop out the crema and they put in you know, hot water as well. So it give you more mellow flavor. So uh, let's see here. By the way, if you, are, if you guys are looking for Brista Express to buy this holidays, this is Bath & Beyond. Uh, if you are living in USA, 20% uh, coupon. I know if you see the fine line on the bottom, it's not, they, they exclude the Brista Express, the, those machines, but if you talk to the manager, sometimes they allow you to, sometimes they let you use this coupon, but most times not. So make sure to read the fine line. So again, uh, this morning I saw one for $5.99. So that's, that's really good price because I bought this machine about two years ago. I paid $650. So I, I think I pay around $650. So if you can get one for under $600, that's really good buy. Uh, any questions, guys? I'm um, upgrading. I'm considering upgrading my gear to a Barazza 30 and a used Gaga Classic. Any okay. experience and thoughts? Someone say, uh, someone tell me, let's say you are upgrading to Gaza Classic. Okay, the used one. How much are you getting it from? Uh, and do you want to buy SETA 30? Oh, if, if you can get, get the SETA 270. Okay, the 270 give you a lot more options because the 270 give you this micro adjustment. So 270 and 270WI, they're exactly the same machine, except WI is the, based on your weight. So, I mean, if you can get the 270, it's around three to $400 range there. I think definitely extra $200 worth. So definitely look into that. Gaza Classic is, they're a fantastic machine, okay? I mean, if you can get one, here we go. I think you are getting for around $150 there. Is $150, 150 pound, I'm not sure. So $150 is really good. So yeah, the 270, if you can get the 270, get the 270, it give you more out of it, okay? Let's see, what are the uh, questions? Are considering upgrading to a better espresso machine, if so what machine are you Someone asked me if I'm going to get a new espresso motion anytime soon. So yes, because I've been looking on Craigslist on eBay. I can't afford to buy a brand new one right now. So I've been looking for used one. I'm looking for like older machine, like Rancho has older machine still out there. Their machine or La Mazzaco, the Lydia Mini. I mean, that's kind of like my top of the line, the top of my list for my dream machine. But, but I'm just, I'm always looking, okay? Because the thing is, I have to think about my counter height as well. So this is about 17 inch height wise. So I cannot get the even tall one either. So it needs to be fit into my kitchen space. As you can see, man, my space is pretty tight, okay? Really tight. So 
it has to be fit into my kitchen. I'm not planning on upgrading my kitchen anytime soon, so it needs to be fit. And what else? So I think that's the key component. But again, I'm planning on spending about between 15 and 2 grand, so you have so much options, so much options to it. So because when I first time I purchased my Brewster Express, I thought, you know, spending what, 600 bucks on machine was, you know, crazy idea. But after a year later, man, I mean, this is really good for entry level. But if you guys are serious about coffee, definitely you might want to upgrade to at least 58 millimeter portafilter filter setup because you have a lot more options, a lot more options. Okay, what else? So I got some questions. Um, no. no. Because again, the between, between 15 and two grand range, man, I mean, <laughs> they got li literally hundreds and hundreds of different type of machines out there. So, you know, pretty, can't go wrong with it, but just make sure check out the uh, uh, reputable like online seller, okay? I really trust a uh, whole lot to love. Those guys are fantastic. Seattle Coffee Gear, they are great. And who else is out there? I think Clive Coffee. I think those guys are good. Just make sure shop around, but just make sure get the reputable uh, uh, source, okay? Because you are investing a lot of money for it. So uh, definitely spend money on, invest money on a grinder too, because I mean, if you have $20,000 express motion with, you know, cheap grinder, you're gonna get a cheap product. So, you know, cheap, you know, outcome, okay? Because the reason why I operate a niche grinder, I know that's kind of like overkill for Brista Express, but I know that I'm gonna have this one for a long, long time. And I got my setup at my work, my work studio, I got a Mazda Mini as well. So that's a really wonderful setup too. Uh, by the way, if you guys are thinking about uh, starting your own, own coffee channel, start doing it today, okay? It's really fun. I know a lot of you ask me about how can I start my own channel? Just start taping it. You know what? Everybody has a smartphone anyway. Start videotape it, upload it to uh, your YouTube. You know, you just pick, pick a name, start uploading it. By the way, if you have a really cool machine, uh, please contact me, okay? I'd like to uh, share that with you on my, uh, I do Instagram live. I do like kind of like show and tell and kind of like show us your coffee machine or coffee grinder in live on uh, Instagram. That's really fun. I mean, that's a really fun event. By the way, I'm going to shout out to Flavio. Uh, Flavio just bought an incredible espresso machine with a coffee grinder because he used to have Brewster Express and he just upgraded to, I can't even pronounce that coffee brand, but man, they're amazing. Uh, he sent me some pictures, but yeah. I, can, I, I cannot wait to have you on my Instagram channel as well. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, okay? It's already October 1st. So we got holidays coming up, we got Thanksgiving, so make sure to save that money. And it's gonna be great deal everywhere, okay? So hopefully you guys get you know something nice for yourself. So again, uh, not, uh, I'm gonna put the link down below for not neutral cups the discount code they're going to give you guys 15 percent off and like always good brothers coffee going to give you guys 25 percent off on their regular priced uh, uh coffee as well so does niche have a french press and pour over setting okay so someone asked me the niche has pour over and french press setting yes so so with the niche we got the filter and drip so that's pour over setting and also we got the coarser setting for french press so i think this is pretty much only few machine the grinders out there you can do all three because brista express you cannot do you cannot do french press for sure pull over pushing it okay so this is made for espresso period and like my mother mini i cannot do french press so it's good for just one thing, but so far niche has been great. Okay, it's been fantastic. It is a little pricey, 
but compared to other uh, coffee grinder, not at all, not at all. Someone asked me any interesting O. I think it's an o, o D. I think I think it's coming. I think that's come from a fellow coffee uh, product there. Their actually, their grinder is made for pour over and French press. So they're really good. Okay, uh, I'm trying to get one pretty soon. So we'll see what happens there. What's your Instagram channel? Someone asked me what's my Instagram channel. My Instagram channel is Hoon's Coffee. AZ, okay, this is Arizona, so AZ. Check it out, it's pretty fun. Uh, somebody said Bravo Smart Grinder Pro does all three grinds. Yes, Bravo Smart Grinder does all three as well. I mean, it's gonna be good as niche grinder, no. But for the price, I mean, they're fantastic, they're fantastic grinder, so can't go, wrong, can't go wrong with it. Because I know a lot of people match that with Infusure and smart grinder or I know some uh, some people use uh, Gaza classic with a smart grinder as well so I'm mean, they're really good for you know budget uh, coffee drinkers so they're really good too one of your uh, viewers uses the flare pro with okay ROK grinder and a Bellman steamer wow so so uh, one of you out there using flare pro with grinder. rock grinder and then Bearman, Bearman Steamer, that's, that's great setup. Hey, so how's it going with it? I mean, did you get your flow down? Because sometimes the cleaning is the little tricky for most people, but I mean, if you have a video on that, just send, uh, post it. I'm gonna promote to my other viewers as well because not a lot of videos out there for Flare because I love Flare. I mean, they're great entry level or if you're just do single, like maybe one or two shots a day. I mean, flare is fantastic because I usually make about, I make coffee for me, myself, my boys, my wife. So at least four shots a day, four double shots. So, I mean, flare is not gonna, it's not, it's not gonna cut it. But I know some, something like Brista Express, it does the job. Someone asked me whenever I use coarser grinder. You know, I haven't not tried the coarser yet. So far, I use the uh, filter drip for niche grinder, but I haven't not done the coarser. I mean, I don't know. It might be have some dust coming up. You know, all those flaky. But I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna try it out next time. Okay. And anyway. So you, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Make sure to follow me on Instagram as well, okay? I'm going to link down below too. See you guys next time.